annual community service award to one of our most outstanding citizens. Now, many of you may recognize him as Coach Bob of our Champion Little League team. And some of you may know him as the treasurer of our Harvest Scholarship Fund. But I know that all of you know him as the guy that owns the only gas station in town. <laughs> Bob Harris, get on up here with that beautiful family of yours. Are you all right? Bob? You're crushing me. Wake up! I think you're having a heart attack. I'm gonna call the ambulance. No. Just drive me to the hospital. I told you I was sitting at my desk when the attack happened. These rug bones are from last night. We think you were having sex, but memory loss could also be a symptom. Maybe we should ask your wife? Don't. I, I did something stupid last night, but it was a one-time thing. You have no idea how bad I feel about it. Your guilt is between you and your wife. We just need to know what happened. I was having sex at a motel when I started to feel lightheaded. Next thing I knew, I was laying on my back. I could barely breathe. Is everything all right? I'd like to perform an exercise test recreate the stress that may have caused his symptoms. He was sitting at his desk. It's his heart we're worried about. The test will monitor its rhythm so we can check for any abnormalities. He's in too good of shape. We need to get him to the point he was at last night. Don't look at me. But if you want to. Cute. I didn't mean physical stress. His heart rate's finally <laughs> elevating. Dr. Chase said you had something to tell me. We were talking about how you got the abrasions on your knees. The flag football game. Oh, um, yeah, honey, I'm gonna need you to let the guys know I'm not gonna be able to play on Saturday. The whole town knows that you're in the hospital. I wouldn't worry about it. That's not what you wanted to tell her. You said the game wasn't typical. Something happened that you were upset about. I don't understand. What did you do? I don't, I don't feel very well. It's not his heart. I know. He's having a seizure. We have him on the donor list for a liver. These things take time, so he could die before he gets one. It's a possibility, but we have another option. We can do a partial liver transplant from a living donor. I'll do it. If you're a match. But to increase our odds, we'd like to get your friends and family tested as well. <sighs> Is it safe? It's a major surgery. Donor spends a week in the hospital and up to three months convalescing at home. I can't ask someone to do that for me. There are hundreds of people who would do that for because you. Because they don't know the real me. You are a good man who made a mistake. Before I ask any of you to sacrifice three months of your life for me, I have a confession. I had an affair. I cheated on Denise. I wouldn't blame anyone if you decide maybe... I forgive him. That should be enough for all of us. Thank you so much for coming here There's today. more. Larry. That new transmission I put in your truck, you didn't need it. Joe, same thing with the engine rebuild. In fact, I cheated most of you here tonight. Half the time you bring your cars into my garage, there's nothing wrong with them. I've been ripping you all off for years. I also took 10000 from the Harvest Scholarship Fund, and I lost it gambling. I'm sorry. I'm not the man you thought I was. 
When I left the room, he was telling her about the strippers from his bachelor party. The function has improved 30%. Buzz is a few extra days before he'll need a transplant. Interesting question is, why is it regenerating? And scene. Now we're back to boring reality reality. His liver was in shock before. He's been having an allergic reaction since he got here. Explain why his symptoms appear so rapidly. And maybe he's starting to go away. We need to run a scratch test to find out what set it off. Or who? This all started when he cheated on his wife. He's allergic to a person. Or something she's wearing. Makeup, perfume, birth control method, her Hello Kitty doll. Two of you go find her and find out what. Two of you start treatment with corticosteroids and epinephrine while you run a scratch test. Huh. It all feels like you stuck me with a hot poker. An allergic reaction. It's the swab for wheat-based allergies. I've been eating wheat my entire life. I'm not allergic to wheat. No, it feels like my whole body's on fire. This doesn't make any sense. He broke out with a rash right after I tested it with the wheat allergy swab, but none of his blood samples shows he's allergic to it. Then he's not allergic to it. The corticosteroids have somehow caused it? I didn't hook them up yet. After he broke out, I wanted to confirm it was gluten before we dosed him. Could be a latex allergy. Started with a condom, and we kept it going with our gloves and equipment. He doesn't test positive for that either. None of the samples test positive for anything. Then he's allergic to something not on the test. I'll keep looking here. We'll start the steroids and see if it clears up. Ah! 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 Stevens Johnson syndrome. It fits all of his symptoms and explains why he got worse after the steroids. Most medication exacerbates the condition. There's no treatment for it. Fits. I got one final confession to make. What's left? You cheated on your taxes. I'm a murderer. I killed my business partner. I shot him in the head. I made it look like suicide. And he was just the first. You killed more? Three. Or four. Try not to kill anyone else until I get back. It's neurological. There's an aneurysm in the anterior communicating artery of his brain. The area moderating impulse control and compulsion. As it grew larger, so did the confessions. Watch. Bob? One of my shoes is missing from my locker. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I needed the cash and um, the locker was open. I, I couldn't. Never heard of a neurological problem that causes someone's skin to fall off. Because there isn't one. The aneurysm is just another symptom. It's not the cause. If we add them all together, we get... We get Kaw... Kawas... Kawas... It's Kawasaki's disease. It's autoimmune. Yes, we knew what Kawa meant. We just figured since it basically presents only in Asian children. Which you might have, by the way. Which is basically why we missed it. Rug burns. Certain carpet cleaning chemicals have been linked to it. Start treatment with intravenous immunoglobulin. Monitor the aneurysm. If it doesn't resolve itself, let to repair it. The rest of you aren't surfing enough. Dr. Chase told me about your disease, how it made you confess to crimes you hadn't committed. The affair with that girl. Is that real? Honey, I... Would never... have never cheated on you.